equals the ratio of its density to that of water. Yes, density of the substance over the density of water. Can you tell me the unit of relative density? Look at the right hand side and tell me the unit. As it is a ratio of similar quantities, relative density will have no units. The units from the numerator and denominator cancel each other out. The density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed and the density of silver is 10,500 kilograms per meter cubed. So can you tell me the relative density of silver? It's easy. Just refer to this formula and try answering it. It will equal the density of silver over the density of water. Substituting the values here, we get the answer as 10.5. That's the relative density of silver. What does the relative density tell us though? What can we understand from this? First, it tells us that silver is a lot more dense than water under the given conditions. Approximately 10.5 times denser. But that's pretty obvious given the numbers. This tells us another important thing. It tells us whether the object will float or sink in water. In simple terms, a substance will sink if it's denser than the liquid it's placed in. And it will float if it's less dense than the liquid it's placed in. How can we say this mathematically? If the relative density of a substance is greater than 1, then it will sink. And if it's lesser than 1, it will float. As the relative density of silver is 10.5, which is greater than 1, it will sink in water. But if we take the example of ice, its density is approximately 934 kilograms per meter cubed. So its relative density will be 0 0.934. As its relative density is lesser than 1, it will float in water. We can understand this with a simple diagram. Take four beakers filled with water. In the first one, drop a substance with a relative density of 0 0.1 you'll see that it floats like this. In the second one, drop a substance with relative density of 0 0.4 and you'll see that it floats like this. More of it is inside the water. And if it's 0 0.9, even more of it will be inside the water. But it will still float. And if it's greater than 1, say 1.2 or 1.3, then it will sink. use that to ask my students to generate hypotheses. Why do you think that happens? And even if they can come up with the word density, they're not using it correctly. Obviously, the regular with sugar in it is more dense than the one without sugar. And then I point out, well, it's not floating in cola. It's floating in a fish tank. So of course, since I won't accept that answer, they go to heavier. And then I point out, well, I'm much more heavy than a diet cola can, and, or than a regular cola can, and I float, and the can sinks. So now they're not happy with that one either. Um, so one of the things I do, uh, it's kind of a discrepant event, and I'll usually do this after the cans are in the fish tank, but before we've talked about it, is I have two beakers up here. Oh, and, and I try to make, uh, I try to play with these things. I, I, you know, why did I only fill one of these up? And I get some water, you know, I make sure they know it's, it's tap water. And I should have filled them both up, but I forgot to before class, so I guess I'll just have to fill up the other one. Oh, it's a little higher than this one. And make sure they're the same height. And okay, now they're both full of water. And I have a candle, just an ordinary candle. Okay. And, but... 
I've got two beakers, so I'm going to try to break the candle in half. I want two equal sized pieces of candle. Well, I've tried to do this live in front of the students and it doesn't work. You can't break it and be ready to go because it probably will, you'll fumble with it and it not work. So of course I have a candle already broken in half. I come over here, break the candle and voila, look what I've done. Oh, that isn't very much in half now is it? So we talk about that there's a difference in the two sizes of candle. Which one do you think is going to be heavier? They did come from the same candle. Okay, and I, that's the reason I don't break it ahead of time. I pretend that I'm breaking it here because I want them to understand these are the same candle. There's no difference in them other than size. So they obviously pick that this one's heavier. You can check it if you want. You can have a balance out. And so since it's heavier, it's going to sink. And since this one's lighter, it's going to float. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay. Well, all right. But when I take them out, actually I usually have them a little closer together. If I fumble enough, and the kids are used to me fumbling, sometimes on purpose and sometimes accidentally. If I fumble oh, and I drop it, then we've got a problem here. Well, if that happened, what happens if I take this piece of candle and drop it in the other beaker? And it sinks. So now the heavy one is floating and the light one has sunk. All right. What's happening here? And I wait. And somebody will say something and somebody will say something else. You tricked us. They're not from the same piece of candle. I pull them out and have a student test them. The Believe it or not, the last thing they want to tell me is that they are different liquids. And that is the case. And the point I'm trying to make to them is that it's not the difference in the candles and it's not, that makes something float or sink. It's not the difference in the liquids that will make something float or sink. It's the difference in the density of the floating object and the liquid that you put it into. It's not that this candle is heavier than the other one. It's not that it's more or less dense than the other. It's that the candle and both of them are less dense than the liquid they're floating in. And in this case, they're more dense than the liquid they're floating in. So we're comparing the object to the liquid and not to each other. Okay. A little warning here. chamber. To do it, I'm going to use a balance scale like this. At one side, I'm going to use some light stuff like this wood, pine. At the other side, 
I'm going to give you some heavy metals like platinum and lead. And now let's see what happens. Well, I